Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to the energy update for December 2021. Oh, my goodness, how has noisy November been for you? We predicted that there was going to be a lot of noise. We predicted there was going to be such a huge amount of sensory overload. And I think it's fair to say we have been living exactly through that. Now, what was very interesting is when I started channeling the information yesterday for December, um, they initially told me destructive December. And I was like, seriously? No, we don't need this. Like, you know, there's enough going on right now. Um, but my, my guides were having a bit of a joke with me. And what they've actually said to me is it's distra distractions December. So there's going to be an overload of distractions this month. OK, and you might think, well, hang on a minute, Lucy, there's been distractions every single month for the last God knows how many long. Well, just to remind you, it's going to continue through the month of December. Now, I've already given you a couple of dates um, in December that I think are going to be quite important um, through my videos. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the energy update. I'm going to um, give you a little bit in bit of insight into the, the few days that I think are going to be very, very important. Um, and then from there, obviously, you can take it or leave it like it might resonate with you. It might not resonate with you. All I wanted to say at the start of this video is this is completely from my perspective. I do get information from my guides. I do channel information. Um, and when I uh, understand the information properly, obviously, I share it forwards to you guys. But sometimes there's things that perhaps I don't need to share because I, they don't make sense to me or we're not ready for them or something like that. So I just wanted to bring that up into consciousness. You know, I might be getting similar things to other people, but I might be getting totally different things. What you've got to remember is everybody channels different people and different things and gets different information. So I just wanted to put that out there. This is completely from my perspective and the perspective of the information that I get um, fed to me. And do remember, sometimes like they'll give me something. And obviously, I put it from my perspective, like it's my interpretation of the situation. So I just I don't know why I just felt as if I needed to say that this time. So, like I said, they gave me destructive. Then they had a bit of banter with me. Um, and I feel that that was really to make me sit up and go, OK, wowzers, here we go. Like we're really going into a, another yet another buoyant month. So December is going to be a powerhouse of a month, not only because of its positioning, like bringing up the rear of the year, um, because obviously that's a great time to reflect and look back and things like that. Like it's a real powerful position as we close out one and we start afresh. I feel this December is going to be extra dramatic with lots and lots and lots of distractions or as I like to say, sensory overload. The energy for December feels as if it's going to continue to be very buoyant, creating ripples of confusion and separation. OK, you are going to be having differences of opinions to your family again. You are going to be being challenged in the supermarket again. And actually, I, I channeled this information yesterday and today already I've had maybe four or five of my followers reach out to me and say I've been confronted in a supermarket. I've been confronted with this. I've been confronted with that, which is quite interesting. This is the buoyant um, ripples of confusion and separation that we are having to relive because we didn't get the gold last time round, or some of us did, some of us didn't. There is also going to be huge energy surges this month requiring you to stand in your truth. So expect revelations galore. It is important during this time, and I have said this over and over and over to the point where I think you're probably getting bored of this message, but who knows? You must remember, know who you are and stand in your truth no matter what. Remember who it is that you came here to be. Remember what your values are, even if it's easier to do certain things because it's just getting a bit noisy. Remember, by standing in your truth, this is going to lead to liberation in coming times. 
And at the moment, I'm getting February 2022, April 2022, you know, where we're going to start to sense a little bit of that liberation. So, you know, it's only a few more months that we need to step through, ladies and gents. If you find yourself slipping into the um, old known territory of fear, anxiety, remind yourself that all bad days have to come to an end. So just keep reminding yourself, OK, this is one of those days, you know, when I wake up tomorrow, things are going to be very different. During these moments of what we will call madness, it is a great time to look back and reflect on the previous months of the year. So I think it's very important at this point to remind you 2021 has not been an easy year. 2020 was one thing. 2021 has been something totally different. Especially now, we've been let off the hook since July and then all of a sudden they've taken it from underneath us again. So it's a very good time now to be when you find yourself getting caught up in that frustration or the, those, those lower vibrational emotions, sit down, grab a piece of paper, grab a journal or whatever you need to do and look back and reflect on the previous months of the year. What you will recognize is that even though 2021 has been, it's not been easy at all, you will find the gold in, you know, why the lockdown had to happen and things like that. Okay. Remind yourself, we are edging closer to the end of a cycle. The end of the year is the end of a cycle. The end of, you know, every, every year we step into a new cycle. What you must also remember is that Chinese New Year is February, and that is, again, the end of a cycle. Okay? It's very, very pertinent for this time to look back, reflect, and then obviously do the recalibration work. Now, all of the old is coming to the surface. And I'm not just talking about our, our, our healing from these lives, maybe some sexual trauma or maybe abuse or maybe narcissism or control or not being able to speak your truth or any of those things. There is aged Lemuria and Atlantis energy coming up for healing on top of everything else that we've got going on, let alone the, uh, the ascension symptoms that we're experiencing. You are going to feel lots of pain. And I actually spoke about this in my conscious conversations last evening. Um, we're going to be feeling physical pain. You might get random toothache or random headaches or random uh, pain in your joints. Overthinking is going to be felt in a massive way. Like you're going to be you're, you're going to be like, oh, why? Why? Why am I going around in these circles right now? And it's because everything must come to the surface so we can step through our healing and into our true authenticity. This period of time, we must learn to trust ourselves. We are literally reliving Atlantis. However, as I've said in a number of um, videos in my conscious conversation sessions recently, this is not as we did it before. We're doing it very differently, although we're doing the same thing, if that makes any sense at all. Now own it, ladies and gents. Have you seen victim mode coming up in yourself and maybe in other people recently? This is all being dredged to the surface so that we can let it go once and for all. We cannot take these low vibrational emotions with us. This polar world that we've been living in. If you if you follow me on social media, I talk about this a lot. Um, and I've done quite a lot of channeling on this for conscious conversations. This polarity, this world that we're living in, this polarized view has to be collapsed for us to step forward. This is the month to do all of that. I mean, we've been doing it for many months, but this is a really important time where we recognize that's no longer in alignment with, with me. We need to collapse that and we need to take a step forwards. That's what this December is going to be about. And you are going to get distracted. You're going to be mid healing something and then see a bright, shiny object over here. And all of a sudden you're going to be going in that direction. Then you'll catch yourself and be like, no, 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 no. We've got to do the healing work. This is what is so important. You are going to be seeing people that you high in, you hold, sorry, in really high regard, um, you know, have it behaving strangely, doing things that are a little bit weird. And you might start to be gravitating away from people. They're going through this, too. 
it's very important that we recognize nobody is you know um an exception to the rule here and if anybody says they are they're not talking the truth during these times we must remember to breathe and I'm not talking the shallow breathing that we've taught ourselves to do. No, proper breathe. Right from your diaphragm all the way. <sighs> breathe, rest, recuperate. Allow your intuition to guide you to exactly what is best for you, because what is best for you won't be best for me. Trust. Take the time to do what your soul requires for you to heal. Now, very interestingly, um, and I don't know if this is because I'm going to be doing a Divine Masculine video soon, but they did say to me, true Divine Masculine is going to be making a comeback in December. I like that. I like the thought of that. So maybe that's why the video has been cancelled twice before. Maybe this time in December, we will actually get that video done. Now, there are a few dates that I think um, or I feel that we should pop into our consciousness. So I've the 4th of December. This is a solar eclipse. It's going to be extraordinarily intense. OK, um, it's leading us into some extremely ex um, intense energies. So we're going to be riding those out for the rest of the month of December. However, just remember that date, the 4th of December. I've also been given the 11th of December, the 11th of December. I don't know what's going to happen here, but what I'm being showed, shown is that it's a very prevalent date. It's a really important date for us to recognize. OK, um, self-explanatory date, the 21st of December. So interestingly enough, I am supposed to be flying to Mexico on the 21st of December. Um, I'm not sure that's going to happen right now. Like I, I've, I've said it, that it's going to happen. Um, but the more noise that is being created, the more, you know, we're all starting to go, OK, maybe maybe there's um, other things to consider on the 21st. But do remember that that is winter solstice. So it's a very powerful day. It's definitely a day that the, um, you know, the other side, uh, the, the dark, the darker side tends to use that energy um, for perhaps not quite as pure things as that the, what we would use it for. OK, the other date that I have mentioned for quite some time, probably, I don't know, maybe about eight or nine months now is the 31st of December. I do not know why I don't I literally I don't know why I just keep getting this um, feeling that there is going to be big bangs like big distractions, maybe things literally going off. And maybe I'm picking up on the fireworks that normally happen on um, New Year's Eve. But I actually feel that there is going to be like some real, I don't know if it's going to be truth bombs or, or what, but I feel like bombs and, you know, just big bangs are going to be taking place. So it's going to be an interesting month. All in all, we are in for some fun this month. OK, remember every single step. Rest, recoup, recalibrate. Now, I feel extremely drawn um, to encourage each and every one of you to up your levels of self-care and self-love at this time. Now, what do I mean by that? I feel that there is going to be some shifts globally around maybe education from home again. So take the time now to do what you need to do. Take the time to, you know, if, if you need to go running, go running. If you need to go out in nature, go out in nature. If you need to go for a manicure or a pedicure, go do that. Now, for me, manicure, pedicure is not self-love, but I know for some of you it is. What my point is, recognize what works for you and go do that. Right now, we need to be looking after our physical, our mental and our spiritual health. You know, and, and I don't know where this has just come from, but even something as simple as writing yourself some little love notes. Well done, Lucy. You're doing amazing. Thank you so much for showing up today, Lucy. Maybe you would like to do that for your loved ones. You know, if your kids are going off to school, maybe pop a little love note in their in their lunchbox for them. I don't know. I feel at the moment we need to be increasing the love vibration just by doing beautiful little things like that. Remember what you are putting out is what you're going to be receiving back. 
Now, I went into a supermarket today. I'm fil filming this on the 30th of November 2021. And I went into a supermarket into Sainsbury's earlier today here in the UK. And everybody had masks on. There was even somebody at the door saying, would you like a mask? Would you like a mask? Um, and of course, I don't wear masks. So I went in and I did my shopping and an old man actually came up to me and said thank you to me. And I didn't have a clue what he was saying thank you for because I hadn't done anything. But what I had actually done is smiled at him. And, and I said to him, I'm ever so sorry, like, have I done something? And he just said to me, you gave me your smile. That's all we need to do right now. Let's not judge these people. For that one split moment, I gave him the confidence that he was going to be okay. Remember, what you're going to put out is what you're going to get back. I have said this so many times, and I just don't feel that some of you are quite grasping this concept. What you put out, what you are envisaging for your life is exactly how you're going to live it. Remember, if you are stuck in fear porn mode, if you are stuck in regurgitating all the same stories that come out of the truth movement and things like that, you are going to be caught there. You are going to be living that. And there will be people around you who have gone, I don't, I don't relate to that. I don't resonate with that anymore. That will be living in a much higher vibration with a much easier life. So pick carefully right now. I'm not saying if you don't have to stand up and, and use your weapons, I'm not saying don't do that. What I'm saying is just pick your timeline. Choose your level of consciousness now. Now is the time to do that. Ladies and gents, we are edging ever closer to the final whistle. We really are. It might not feel like it, but trust me, we really are. Like I say, February, April is going to be a huge pivotal time for us next year. Please continue to hold the line. Please continue to keep on keeping on, as I like to say. It's time for us to shift this mama, Gaia, planet Earth, whatever you want to call her. It's time for us to shift this mama once and for all. Ladies and gents, as always, I am overloaded with gratitude to be on this journey with you. We're doing this. We're doing this for the kids. Okay. I love you guys to the moon and stars. I'm going to literally link back to a video that I did yesterday. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll catch you in the next video super soon. Lots of love.